Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to In the Name of Jerusalem 2. This is an up and coming overhaul mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, and I am so looking forward to it. So, in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to dive in and take a look at one of the new campaign map videos that I recently posted. I'll go ahead and link this video down below in the description. Definitely go over, drop the video some love, put some comments on it, say how much you're looking forward to this mod. And then we're also going to take a look at their new and improved cavalry mechanics that they've also added. It makes cavalry charge is absolutely insanely brutal uh, and then we'll also take a look at some of the new assets they posted over on their mod db page which are also linked down below in the description if you guys have never heard of this mod this is a mod that is set in i believe 1187 and it goes all the way through to 1207 so it covers uh, a period of the crusades and it looks to take over you know a large amount of the east showing you guys lots of factions lots of unique uh, abilities and tons of other stuff so if we take a look at this video Video. I'll let it play in the background for you guys. Once again, we'll link it down below in the description. Uh, we'll get a good little scope of the campaign map. You guys will see exactly kind of the, the areas they're planning on going. And, you know, again, this is the overall look of the campaign map in the editor. You can see it does travel all the way through the Balkans down to through Turkey. Obviously, when we have the Middle East and also parts of Egypt as well. Uh, that's going to be the plan of it. They don't plan on going any more west. And again, I don't think they really, really need to. We get to see some of the awesome looking stuff actually in the game already. And obviously, the main you know, focus at the moment is really just to kind of sculpt out the campaign map. Uh, as you can see in the top right hand corner, this is still very much a work in progress. Uh, they actually call this video an early stage of the campaign map. So again you can see a lot of the settlements aren't placed they're kind of just there whilst they get the actual terrain um terrain set up now uh, and, and then obviously when all the maps are set up and you know kind of they've got everything looking you know with, with the mountains and hills and forests and stuff once that's all set down then they'll look to actually place the settlements where they should be placed so you, again you'll see floating icons uh, but just literally ignore where the settlements are right now so right now we are moving across Turkey and as you guys saw and as I mentioned the campaign looks to kind of go from uh, kind of the southern parts of Hungary uh, all the way down through uh, through Turkey down to the Middle East, obviously, you know, where a lot of the Crusades will be happening, and then into Egypt, and I think maybe a bit of, like, the Persian area down a, a bit more to the east, um, but you can already see the detail and the size as well of the campaign map itself as we scope over Greece. And I believe the map itself, uh, they said in the comments of one of their videos, is actually 1.5 times bigger than Bannerlord at the moment. So that's really the, the size of it. So it's going to be a pretty large map. We're going to have plenty of factions, whether it's like the Bulgarian kind of, kind of like the, uh, the the Balkan factions. We're going to have the Islamic factions and the Crusaders. So there's going to be a nice little mix of cultures uh, in there. And then obviously within them uh, cultures, they're going to have lots of sub factions as well. And I love the detail as well, obviously see we've got uh, Crete off there and a lot of the Greek islands it's gonna be interesting to see if uh, you know how many of the Greek islands are gonna be playable you guys can see right here is this uh, Crete or is this Cyprus yeah this is Cyprus right here uh, so you can see that looking very nice as well and it'll be really interesting to see kind of what aspect they go for with regards to, like settlements like are we gonna have like you know, one major city and maybe a bunch of castles on here, or we're going to go like kind of more historical, depending on, you know, how many castles the settlement of or the island did have. It's going to be really interesting to see how they kind of do space that out again right now. Uh, just ignore kind of what it has. Um, but yeah, it will be really exciting. You can already see the detail as well. Uh, one thing I really hope that they do pay attention to is like roads and farms and give give the settlement a lot of life to it. That's something I really want to see in the, these mods and something that I think they should uh, really do. Like one of the great things about uh, Carry Expanded is just that level of detail that you know, every part of the map has something that just pops out at you and you go, oh wow, whether it's the, imper the old imperial roads or you know, kind of dirt roads going off into villages or lots of farms or you know, kind of mountain ranges. That's something I really, really, really do like a, a lot. And again, you can see some uh, some of the footage is actually in game as well uh, right now um, with it. So yeah, I really hope I do see like lots of farms and uh, forests and, and roads. I think roads is something that's just so missing from a lot of the games. Um, and I'm not sure. If, I think this is actually maybe one of the actual settlements set up. 
uh, right there with with it, which is awesome. You know, if that's going to be the case, if we're going to have like Crete uh, or was that Crete or was that Cyprus? I can't actually remember. Uh, but either way, like if we're going to have that with like two cities and like a bunch of castles, it's going to make it a very interesting start and also a really interesting place to like start your empire as a player. You take over an island and move out. And this also leads on to another question. You know, we're going to have a lot of the Mediterranean to, to, to sail across, you know, like, so how's that going to work? Are they going to add in custom mechanics? I don't think they've spoken about this yet. But are we going to have like naval battles in the game or are we going to have like a big supply mechanic uh, with regards to naval mechanics? So you can't just travel from like Greece to Egypt without your know, heavy investment. It's going to be really interesting to see how that does go. I think one thing they could really try and do is like if you're at sea, your supplies and your food consumption and your, your troop wages like increase like tenfold or, or something like ridiculous to really go and show just how like how much of a logistical uh, nightmare moving an entire army across sea would be um so yeah we'll have to see exactly how that does get set up but overall the campaign map looks spectacular um really nice scope obviously being as large as it is that really adds in a lot of flavor um and size we're gonna have like many different culture groups which will be really cool. Uh, obviously, they're planning on having, you know, loads of settlements being added into the game. I also think, like, tradable resources will be really interesting as well, like, really kind of uh, making that unique. And if you can cut someone off from having certain resources, that could add a lot of flavor and starve some cities out. So, yeah, that's going to be the campaign map. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Again, I'll link this video down below in the description. You guys can check it out. Now, let's move over to the new cavalry charges that they've set up. And, oh, my God, cavalry look deadly okay so we are now in and let's take a look at these new improved cavalry units so we got the crusader cavalry charges first once again as always unit models look absolutely Im immensely impressive and right there just tearing through again that was a very thin infantry line uh charging into uh into the cavalry uh which was you're pretty crazy now we've got the islamic units right now again the unit models in this mod are just incredible. They really are. And now we're going to see, yeah, the Islamic units charging. Again, this is a bit more a defensive formation. So this is the enemy in a in a circle. Still absolutely brutal. Obviously, the mod itself is going to have to, uh, you know, balance this out. Whether it's like kind of cavalry being super expensive. Or, you know, maybe uh, certain formations do really, really well uh, against cavalry charges. Obviously, we now have the... Uh, the braces and now we have kind of like the byzantine uh charges going in right now again ripping through that and you can see the spears do kind of work but again they flatten through these guys i mean obviously i mean again look at these unit models as well for the byzantines uh incredible stuff um but yeah it's, it's gonna be very interesting to see how they do go about balancing that stuff because obviously that was ridiculous the cavalry just tore through them like they were butter but Again, that cap, you know, a lot of them infantry weren't braced, so the cavalry can do stuff like that. There was a lot of them horses. I imagine you're not going to be able to just field that much cavalry. It's going to be either really expensive or, you know, uh, it's going to be like, you know, very hard to get them. I think, like, with the higher tiers, having that really expensive cavalry, uh, maybe there's like certain horses that just cost ridiculous amounts of money to really obtain them expensive units. I always love the idea of actual. Um, having to have certain weapon upgrades to upgrade units. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody do that before. Um, and I think that would be a really unique way of like making the higher tier units. Uh, because obviously right now to upgrade to, to war, to, to, to the best cavalry, you need war horses. And, uh, you know, that's how it goes up. But I would love to see that mechanic taken further and to maybe upgrade to the best tier, highest tier units. You need to have, like, a certain sword, a certain shield, and other stuff like that. And you can incorporate that with, like, blacksmiths that maybe produce it. I think there's loads of ways that people could go down there. No one's done it yet, so I imagine probably maybe that's just not something that really works. You need, like, a coder to go in and create that. And coders are a very rare breed when it comes to modding. They are very, far, very few and far between. Um, but still, that cavalry charge looked awesome. Again, if we just kind of rewatch it again, you can see uh, the, the strength of that. Yeah, we'll dive in again and take a look at them. You guys can get another little look at the uh, the models themselves um, as they go in. So yeah, obviously the bracing mechanic is going to be very interesting. Hopefully, models find a way for spears to brace. Because right now, uh, spear bracing is only uh, someone with a pike. Um, and honestly, they need to improve that. They need to make it so that like a, a, spe a, so sorry, a, a shield and spear can also 
brace to some extent, get some huge bonuses against cavalry. Yes, they, they can make the cavalry of the horse buck a bit, but even still, I, you know, spears need a huge help uh, in, in Bannerlord. Uh, whether it's like removing the like kind of allied hitbox, making it so that you can thrust that spear a little bit closer um, than you currently can, or just giving them a better brace against cavalry or like a bonus damage against cavalry or something along those lines, I think would be would be a, a huge bonus. And hopefully modders can add in kind of their own kind of take on that. Again, I, I love the look of these factions. The uh, the Balkans are going to be a, a, a hefty hefty faction to bring into into play. Conveyor units look absolutely incredible. Uh, so yeah, that was a nice little uh, kind of look at the in the name of Jerusalem. If you guys are looking forward to this mod, I 100% go check out their mod DB. Go check out the campaign map video and go show it some love because it's looking great. I can't wait. This is definitely in my top five of my most anticipated mods looking really really awesome. Let me know if there's any other mod update videos you want me to cover in the future. I think that the Old World mod has received a couple updates uh, or a couple dev diaries which we could take a look at, um, kind of detailing a bunch of things off. Obviously, they recently dropped their, their mini beta, which was really fun to dive in and mess around with. I can't wait for them to add in a few more factions to that and kind of just expand it. Hopefully, we'll get something like that in the new year because that would be really exciting. Are there any mods that I just have, haven't ca uh, covered on the channel that have some really cool videos up that I could obviously make it maybe take a look at. Uh, let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.